final poster for today. We had toxicology, we had DNA, but now we have like an X-File case, <laughs> a very surprising case. So, um, what, what's your name? My name is Ashley Holmes. And uh, which institution do you work for? I'm with Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist out of Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And um, you, you got a case where you found a skull. It look, totally looks 100% like a human skull. Yes. Well, I don't know. I'm a biologist, so I say 100%. <laughs> Anthropologists wouldn't probably say that. But there's a story behind it. There is a story. So the story behind Scully is the story that um, a skull was found at the bottom of a pond that was being drained by construction workers. How, how deep was the pond? Um, unsure of the depth of the pond, but they were actually draining the pond because they were going to be putting real estate on top of the pond. Uh, law enforcement was called out to the scene. Law enforcement remembered that there was a child that was missing 10 years prior in the area and that these could potentially be the skeletal remains of said child. So they contacted our office. They requested a skeletal remain examination be performed and Scully was brought to our office. <laughs> um, an examination was performed. Dr. Patrick Lance, this is his case. He was the one that did the examination. Um, as you can see in image one and two, there was a lot of mud that was obscuring the details of said skull. But once the mud was washed away, you start to look at the cranial sutures, you start to look at the dentition, and <laughs> Dr. Lance was very skeptical that this was a human skull. Uh, the nail in the coffin, so to speak, was when we had radiology come and they did images. And this is the image that you can see. There's a lack of a trabecular bone. There are no frontal or maxillary sinuses and there are no middle ear canals. Oh, wait, can you maybe say that in plain words for non-scientists? <laughs> uh, non what, what is missing here? Okay, so um, frontal sinuses, there's no frontal sinuses in this area and there are no middle ear, ear canals. So, so some, here, something's missing here and yes, there. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And if you look at the dentition right small. here, there's a tan, glossy finish as well. That is not con conducive to dentition from human remains. So um, our conclusion is that this is a very impressive 3D mold that was made of a skull. Someone actually took the time to probably use a Dremel drill to do the sutures right here. Like with a little drill? Exactly. Jesus. Exactly. To this day, we do not know why <laughs> the skull was produced and then thrown in the pond, but hence how we have Scully, an investigation of X-Files proportion. If, if you are the person who produced the skull, send an email to the investigators because they're probably interested. Yes, please do. I personally think this is an alien. How can you exclude it as an alien? <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. So if, if you have information about aliens without frontal sinuses, <laughs> also send an email. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank I mean, how, how long did it take you to find out that this could by no means be a human uh, uh, Typically, the examination is like an hour, hour and a half. But as soon as we got the imaging from radiology, you instantly knew. I mean, you have to remember, when you're dealing with people that are lay people and they don't have a background in anthropology, if I found this at the bottom of a pond, I would probably think that it was real too. Yeah, so, of course. Yes. So this is really strange. So whoever did that, you, you did a job that made it into a poster at the American Academy of Forensic Sciences meeting. Thank so. you so much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs>